On the afternoon of Sunday, September 30th, hundreds of residents lined the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the 2018 Homecoming Parade. Participants assembled at Blanche Sims Elementary School and made their way down Flint Street, led by the police department's 1941 Ford police car. Grand Marshal Brenda Zilka rode shotgun with Police Chief Jerry Narsh. Brenda is the wife of Ron Zilka, who donated the car to the police department. Sadly, Ron passed away in 2017. The parade had a Star Wars theme and included Lake Orion's elementary schools, middle schools, and of course the high school, with the LOHS marching band entertaining the crowd. The entire homecoming court was introduced to the crowd, representing the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and senior class. Lori Hogan provided the commentary. Our first senior court, Michaela Allen and Carson Case. Michaela and Carson are two of our senior court members. Michaela is a varsity cheerleader, and Carson is a member of the track team. Our next two senior couple is senior varsity cheerleader Nina Rossman and senior varsity soccer player Alberto Hernandez. Nina and Alberto are members of the senior homecoming court. Next up we have Justin Kepler and Sophia Beatty. Again, court members Justin Kepler and Sophia Beatty. And our final couple today is senior Reed Marshall and senior Sydney Gruppenhoff. Again, Reed and Sydney are both members of the leadership class at Lake Orion High School. And Reed's a hockey player. And they are our final senior couple today. One couple is missing today, Nick Weiss and Sophia Kanai, but they are not here today. Bringing up the rear was the varsity football team led by head coach John Blackstock who would face Bloomfield Hills during the homecoming game on Friday. The parade made a right turn onto Broadway before coming to an end at the Eman Center. On Thursday, October 4th, it was juniors versus seniors during the annual Powder Puff football game. It was the seniors who would get on the scoreboard first. With under 10 minutes left in the first quarter, with the ball on the juniors' 31-yard line, Peyton Shadaya takes the reverse and goes 31 yards into the end zone. The extra point was good, and the seniors find themselves on top 7-0. The score remained 7 0 until late in the third. With the ball on their own 38, junior Matia Rourke takes the snap, rolls right, bursts through the line, dodges would be tacklers, and goes all the way into the end zone for the score. Grace Vukalic nailed the extra point, and the game is all tied up at 7 apiece. Let's go to the fourth. With nine minutes left in the game, the seniors have the ball on the juniors' 26. Number 80, Tessa Noose takes the reverse, and her blockers clear a path to the end zone. The seniors regain the lead, 14-7. Then, with less than five minutes left in the game, quarterback Matia Rourke takes the snap, reverses her direction in the backfield, and just flat out outruns every defender on the field. She goes 85 yards into the end zone for the score. Grace Vukalic can tie things up with the extra point, but it's no good, wide left, and that's how the game would end. The seniors walk away with a one-point victory over the juniors. On Friday, the Lake Orion Dragons hosted the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks during the homecoming football game. The Dragons headed into the game with a 3-3 three and three record and the Blackhawks at 2-4. and four. The Dragons started their first drive of the game in great field position after Marlon Robinson returned the opening kickoff all the way back to the Blackhawks 47. A few plays later, Matt Freeman goes in motion, takes the handoff, cuts inside a blocker and goes 13 yards into the end zone. The Dragons strike first, Lake Orion 7, Bloomfield Hills nothing. With 11 minutes left in the second quarter, the Dragons are facing a second and nine with the ball on their own 34. Quarterback Blaze Lauer hands off to Marlon Robinson, who hits the hole and goes 66 yards into the end zone. The extra point was good, and the Dragons take a two-touchdown lead. But the Blackhawks weren't going to go down without a fight. With just over four minutes left in the first half, the Blackhawks find themselves on the Dragons' 12. Quarterback Andrew Barish lofts one into the end zone where Darren Mack makes a sensational catch to pull his team within a touchdown. Lake Orion 14, Bloomfield Hills 7. 
on the Dragons' next possession. With 90 seconds left in the half, the Dragons have a third and nine when Blaze Lauer takes the shotgun snap, rolls right, and hits Mitch Howell in the end zone for a touchdown. The Dragons regain a two-touchdown lead. But before the first half can come to an end, the Blackhawks end up punting to the Dragons. After a few plays and a penalty, the Dragons find themselves on the Blackhawks 17 yard line with under a minute to go. With Lauer in the gun, he finds Matt Freeman in the end zone for another Lake Orion touchdown. The extra point was good and the score was Lake Orion 28, Bloomfield Hills 7 at the half. During the halftime celebration, the homecoming court was introduced to the crowd. Last year's king and queen, Matt Martacci and Sierra Avent returned to crown 2018's king and queen. It was announced that Justin Kepler was named homecoming king, and Sierra placed the crown upon the head of Michaela Allen. The couple took a victory lap around the track as 2018's newly crowned homecoming king and queen. Back to the action. With four minutes left in the third, the Blackhawks have the ball on the Dragons' 12-yard line. Barish pitches it to Jacob Gasso, who bowls his way into the end zone for the Blackhawks' second TD of the night, pulling to within 14 of the Dragons. But just minutes later, on second and two on the Bloomfield Hills 35, Lauer hands off to Joe Cady, who stumbles but stays on his feet and goes the distance into the end zone. The Dragons take a 35-14 lead over the Blackhawks. Then with 8.15 left in the game and the ball at midfield, Lauer fakes the handoff to Robinson, rolls left and streaks down the sideline and into the end zone for the score. The 51-yard run was Lake Orion's sixth of the game, and the Dragons come away with a 42-14 win over the Blackhawks. We caught up with Coach Blackstock after the game. Uh, really excited, you know, really proud of our guys. Thought they played really well, played hard, played physical and fast and all the things that we want to do and controlled the game from the beginning to end. You know, we just talked at the end there that we need to do a little bit better job of uh, our response, you know, to to adverse situations as individuals. I thought our team responded well, but at times we had individuals that didn't respond to things well and that, that ended up costing us with a lot of penalties that quite frankly are a bit embarrassing. The Dragons' final home game will be against Clarkston on October 12th. Then the team travels to Monroe for the final game of the regular season. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV Sports.